Hi guys, the book I'm going to read today is called The Napping House. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And in that house, there is the bed, a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny, on the cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on the cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dim dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping's house where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? On the slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on the cozy bed, in the napping house where everyone is sleeping. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. Who scares the cat? Who crawled the dog? Who thumps the child? Who bumps the granny? Who breaks the bed? In the napping house where no one now is sleeping. D N.